All right, here we go. Back to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button for post notifications. And um, yeah, and um, and then if you've already been here, you already know what the um, you know what the deal is. And also, I'm not a financial advisor. I have no experience in finance, so I can't tell you to buy, help, buy, hold, or sell any crypto asset. You do got to do your own due diligence yourself by doing research on the projects or whatever cryptocurrency you know you choose to you know to put your hard-earned money into. But anyways, let's get right into it. Um, yeah, so it looked like it finally happened. SBF is finally, um, hold on just a second. Ah, uh, my screen, wipe that <laughs> my screen off on my phone. Okay, so it looked like SBF has, has finally been arrested. They got him, uh, but, but, the, but the question is, what's the real reason why they arrested him for? You know, did they, did they arrest him so he can't go to the United States? To spill the beans, to talk about who was who was all involved, you know who knows. There's a reason why he got arrested. Um, I guess that's a good step forward, but they also need to get that girl. What's what's her name, Caroline or whatever, because she she ran the Almeda research, so she's still running loose. You know, she's part of it. You know, she stole a lot of money as well. Uh, but anyways, um, they still got to figure out how to recover the the billions of of missing, you know, crypto assets. You know, whether whatever it was, three to four billion of, of stolen crypto. Um, but anyways, and then they then as they say another what what eight billion dollar eight billion was missing. Not only the crypto that was stolen, there was also a lot of you know, I think either way it goes it was about ten billion ten billion dollars worth of crypto gone, uh missing, you know, stolen. You know, including the, you know, all the user funds that was on the FTX site. Uh, but anyways, this is a good, you know, step forward that he's been arrested. You know, um, me personally, I think, it, you know, that could have been, you know, um, low key. That could have been for his best interest because, you know, that's a lot of, you know, darn money for somebody to steal. And so I'm quite sure, you know, there's people out there who want him, you know, who wanted his, you know, head that, you know, that want to get him. You know, you can't just go around stealing whatever millions or billions of dollars of people's money and then expect nothing to happen. Nobody's not going to come looking for you. So for him getting arrested could have been a good thing for him. But anyways, um, you know, there's still a lot of missing money. They got to figure out how to get those stolen funds back, you know, at least where people can get their at least some of their money back that was stolen off the off the exchange, including that whole Alameda research, whatever, because they. They use that Alameda research to, you know, to, to money launder the stolen funds. And they need to find out who, you know, who the hacker was. That, because what happened after FTX filed for bankruptcy, a hacker came in and stole millions of dollars worth of, I think, Ethereum and Bitcoin. But all we know, he could have been the one that did it, all we know. <laughs> Anyways, but that's what's going on. You know, he found, they finally, you know, it's finally been arrested. That's a step forward. But let's see what happens here, you know. Um... You know, this whole thing is just, um, you know, we just got to get, you know, we just, I think it's now in crypto going forward, you know, we got to, you know, weed out the bad, you know, like I said before, weed out the bad people in, in, in crypto, you know, weed out the bad players, you know, the people who's going to put a bad stain on crypto, uh, you know what I mean? The people who, um, you know, was doing these bad things. You know, it's you know it's time. To, it's high time they, you know, they get rid of the bad apples. You know, going forward, especially you know as we try to get ready for our next crypto bull run. You know, it'll be good to get rid of these bad people because they were doing stuff like, um, I forgot what the word they call, um, they were, you know, paying people off the the spread fud on other cryptos, the pump, you know, to pump their shit coins or whatever. Um, but anyways, they were doing they were doing a lot of you know. Uh, you know, cricket stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. I don't want to be too long here. Jasmine Corn is at point zero zero three seven right now. Let's see what happens. You know, the market has been flat for the last few days. Uh, last uh, the other day it went down a little bit, but let's see what happens. You know, we're just doing the same thing. We're holding. You know, we're holding our crypto for dear life. I'm holding for financial freedom. I already told you why I'm holding. I'm dollar cost averaging, buying when I can, and I'm holding for financial freedom that way i don't have to live you know paycheck to paycheck anymore uh but anyways hey i will see you guys in the next video 
Hope you guys are having a good Monday night. So, yeah, I just want to give you guys an update. I'm quite sure a lot of you guys already heard what's going on with the SBF guy, him being arrested. But I'm going to keep up with, stay up, keep up with this news. Because I think there's going to be some more, more stuff coming up. Hopefully, there's going to be more arrests made. I'm hoping there will at least be at least one or two more arrests made in this thing. But, you know, we, let's see what happens. Hey, I'm gone. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go watch some other YouTube channels and try to read up on some articles to see what's the latest news going on with this. All right, guys, take care.